This is an Our QuadCities.com update. Good morning, everybody. It's 855. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Olson with your RQuadCities.com update. A crash in downtown Davenport left a pickup truck on its roof last night. It happened at the intersection of 3rd and Brady Streets. That was a little bit after 830 last night when our crew got there and saw one person taken to the hospital. Police say they have non-life-threatening injuries, so that's good news there. The cause of the accident is still under investigation, and we do not know yet if anyone will be charged related to that. We've learned the name of a man killed in a crash involving a stolen car near the Centennial Bridge earlier this week. Rock Island County's coroner says he's 52-year-old Abbott Lee Perry from Davenport. He was driving when his car was hit by a stolen car. Perry died at the hospital. The driver of that stolen car took off running and still has not been found. Police say the car was stolen from Rock Island on Sunday. A third man convicted in the shooting death of an 18-year-old at Brady Street Stadium five years ago will go to prison. A judge sentenced 25-year-old Daryl Merritt to up to 35 years for his role in the death of 18-year-old Demetrius Allen. Merritt apologized to members of Allen's family right before being sentenced. Both of Merritt's co-defendants are also serving prison time. You can see Jupiter and Saturn for yourself this weekend. August Anna College's John Deere Planetarium will host an open house Saturday with different displays and exhibits. There will be activities like planetarium show in the full dome, plus glow in the dark rocks, and you can check out dinosaurs and fossils in the Geology Museum. Uh, we're going to have displays and exhibits open both here and in the Frickcell Geology Museum where they have dinosaurs, glow in the dark rocks, cool fossils, and then we're also going to have our telescopes open. We're hoping to get some good views of the moon and Jupiter and Saturn, which will all be uh, prominent in the sky on Saturday. Saturday's open house runs from 7 to 8.30, and that's at the John Deere Planetarium at Augustana College, and best news of all, it is free. All right, it's Red Kettle kickoff day for the Quad Cities. The Salvation Army will unveil its goals for this year's campaign at the Hy-Vee on 53rd Street in Davenport later this afternoon. All of the money raised in the Red Kettles stays right here in the Quad Cities for programs and services. Last year's Red Kettle campaign beat its goal of $750,000, and Tyler, we sure would like to see them do a little bit better this year. Yeah, I want to see that million. All right, I want to hit the one million uh, dollar goal. I think that would be an amazing feat, especially with the uh, you know 2022 the inflation and everything. I think it's a great year to do that. All right, just uh, right now we are tracking showers and storms moving through the Quad Cities as we speak. Temperatures mild, winds they're starting to pick up a little bit. Winds coming out of the south at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. But let's go ahead and take a little bit of a regional picture here. Uh, we have, I'll take a look at this uh, storm that's kind of developed over the last uh, half an hour. Uh, but we have a big time rain off to the west, still tracking to the north, but we have more rain behind this, I promise, that we will see later on this afternoon, especially heading to the evening. But I want to take a little bit of a closer look here up near DeWitt, uh, near Clinton and Maquoketa. Pretty decent, strong storm. It's not severe, but. Me showing, or at least this showing a lot of lightning, showing that it's growing, it's starting to mature a little bit, so it's becoming a little bit of a stronger storm, maybe even like a tiny bit of hail associated with it, uh, but absolutely, do, absolutely a downpour. You want to have your rain gear handy, because these pop-up showers and storms can develop at any time. So Geneseo, you got a little bit of a shower, uh, even down here in the Quad Cities, Less Liberty, Tipton, Muscatine. Conesville, you got a few showers working their way on in. So have the rain gear handy because we're going to see rain lasting really throughout the day today. Big time rain later on this evening into tonight. All right, track that rain all day long in the rquadcities.com app. Have a great Friday.